Good evening, everyone. Plenty of reasons to expect a compelling contest tonight here on the French capital, Paris. We're at the Pac de Pass. I'm Derek Ray, in position to bring you live match commentary. And my expert analyst, as always on these occasions, is Stuart Robson. And what we're getting ready to bring you is live action from Liga. It's Paris Saint-Germain, and they face Bordeaux. Well, thanks, Derek. The best coach I've played under would always tell us before kickoff, earn the right to play. If you can win your individual battles, outrun your opponent, eventually you'll get the space to show your ability. I'm sure that's being echoed by the coaches here today. Introducing the Paris Saint-Germain starters. Gianluigi Donnarumma is the keeper. Marquinhos plays alongside Presnel Kimpembe at the back. Danilo Pereira starts alongside Marco Verratti in the engine room. And the main threat in attack today should be Kylian Mbappe. Well, this is how Bordeaux will line up. Well, this looks to be a really defensive lineup. They've certainly not come here to dominate possession. But if they defend with urgency, they're going to be difficult to break down, that's for sure. Underway at the Parc des Princes in Paris. An alert intervention. Verratti is with Paredes. Lionel Messi. Well, it's one pass after another. Danilo Pereira. Chance here. A goal in the early stages. Precisely what they had been planning. Well, that's really good awareness of the situation. He just places that beyond the keeper. That's a top-class finish. Possession given away, unfortunately. Kimpembe. Messi. Verratti now. Now what can Paris Saint-Germain do from this position? Danilo Pereira. Using all his defensive acumen to cut it out. And a poor ball. Ellis. Promising possession, this. Well, it looked as though it had a chance of going in. Well, he should make the keeper work there, but you sense a goal is coming.
Verratti. Neymar. Attacking possibilities for PSG. Well, he had a decent reading of that ball in. Danilo Pereira. Mbappe. Messi. Oh, it's gone in for PSG as they extend their advantage to two goals. Just look at this again. The combination play in the top third of the field was so precise and his movement so clever. Once he gets onto it, there's only one thought in his head. Smash it as hard as possible. What a good goal. So 2-0 now. Well, PSG have controlled most of the possession, as you can see, and they've made good use of it. They really have played some good attack in football, and they look like scoring more. It's been slipped through by Marco Verratti. Goalkeeper getting in the way. Superb save. The delivery from Neymar. Well, the marking was tight. The header off target in the end. Well, he's going to be disappointed with that pass. Neymar. Verratti. Not a very complicated catch for the keeper. Mbappe. Excellent defending. Verratti, well the fans really want him to shoot, and a goal to increase their advantage to three, can they be stopped? Well just look at this, he keeps his composure and he almost passes it into the back of the net, that's a very good goal. So back with the action and PSG handing out a very harsh lesson here. What about the stoppage time situation? Two minutes the word. Mbappe is with Paredes. Accurate pass upon accurate pass. But then the one that goes astray. And so the half-time whistle has gone here at the Parc des Princes in Paris. And on the evidence of what we're seeing in this match, Kylian Mbappe is a striker at the peak of his powers, you've got to say, Stuart. Yeah, he's certainly carved out plenty of chances. He's tested the keeper on numerous occasions, and he got his reward with that goal. Brilliant stuff from him. Underway at the Parc des Princes in Paris. Chance here.
Well, it looked as though it had a chance of going in. Well, he should make the keeper work there, but you sense a goal is coming. Danilo Pereira. Mbappe. Messi. Oh, it's gone in for PSG as they extend their advantage to two goals. It's been slipped through by Marco Verratti. Goalkeeper getting in the way. Superb save. Verratti. Well, the fans really want him to shoot. And a goal to increase their advantage to three. Can they be stopped? So the second half is underway, and really it was a dizzying performance from Paris Saint-Germain in the first 45. Ellis is with Juan Uijo. Defensive efficiency personified. Messi. Wijnaldum now. Verratti. They're certainly allowing their opponents to come on to them. Oh, that's an interesting pass. And a promising looking attack, but comes to nothing in the end. Mbappe. Paredes. Wijnaldum. Can they stop it going in? Corner given to PSG. PSG are going to switch things around on the personnel front. <laughs> Trying to deliver it accurately. Not the result from the set piece they were looking for. Neymar. Here's Marquinhos. Will it be? That's a decent run from Marco Verratti. And struggling to get the shot off. A terrific defending to stop them progressing. Mbappe. And here's Vinaldum. Keeping it moving dynamically. The referee spotted the infringement, and it will be a free kick in a position of genuine menace. Neymar has a go here. Well, the keeper is happy the bar was there. Well, I'm still amazed that stayed out. He looks to have done everything right, didn't he? Oh, good reflexes from the keeper and the danger averted. And over comes the corner. 
Goalkeeper's ball, it was always going to be that way. Can he finish? Splendid defending. Well, we're inside the final quarter of an hour now. Effective looking pass. Can they take advantage? It will be a Paris Saint-Germain free kick. It's going to be a double substitution. Well, in the closing phase here, and PSG excelling, Stuart. Well, what can you say about this performance? They've been absolutely brilliant. They've played with such guile and creativity, and their passing has been so expansive. Not many teams would have stopped them today. Mbappe. Still looking for space. Well, they couldn't take advantage of the opportunity. Di Maria. Ronaldo, a goal! And I'll tell you what, on this sort of form, very few would lay a glove on them. Well, let's look at this again. To pick out this pass shows wonderful vision. It's inch perfect, and there's certainly no doubt about the finish. He really hits it with power and accuracy. Nothing the keeper can do about that. It's a massive lead, and it's very hard to imagine them losing it now. Di Rosun. Gideon Mensa. Could play it in. Fantastic work to thwart the danger. We will have three minutes of additional time at the end here. Wijnaldo, Di Maria now, deserves credit for winning the ball back. And there's the final whistle, and we can confirm a victory for Paris Saint-Germain. What did you think of their overall display? Well, Derek, it was a very assured performance, wasn't it? Particularly impressed with their play going forward, really lively and almost cutting through at will at times. The result never much in doubt, if I'm honest. Well, as is so often the case, a fine display from Jorginho Wijnaldum in this match. What did you make of what you saw from him? Well, it's a good performance. He worked hard, played well and scored a goal. And his team won. What more could you ask for? Danilo Pereira. Mbappe. Messi. Oh, it's gone in for PSG as they extend their advantage to two goals. It's been slipped through by Marco Verratti. Goalkeeper getting in the way. Superb save. Verratti. Well, the fans really want him to shoot. to increase their advantage to three. Can they be stopped? Paredes. Can they stop it going in? Corner given to PSG. Oh, good reflexes from the keeper and the danger averted. Di Maria, Wijnaldum, a goal, and I'll 
I'll tell you what, on this sort of form, very few would lay a glove on them.